So today I learned something new about my friend Rebecca Tiller. She is apparently a whiskey fan, so Brad is more than excited to share some of his whiskey collection with this lady. We've just discovered today that Rebecca loves a good whiskey, so me being a passionate man of whiskey myself, told her about my few remaining favorites that I have here in the caravan. I've also introduced her to these fantastic handcrafted Nolan glasses. It's dull wall so you don't get the heat from your hands and also has little propellers on the inside so that when you're swirling your whiskey inside the glass it uh, releases the perfumes and the smells of the whiskey. It said when you're drinking from this glass that you can maintain eye contact with whoever you're enjoying whiskey with. And so am I going to see some eye contact in whiskey drinking you today? Might see that mm. as we're going down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <Yes>. Matt. <laughs> I found him on some sort of Kickstarter ad, and my friend Stuart put me onto him. Over here, you have our selection of whiskey. This mm. one is from where we currently are, sort of. It has Mania Distillery, Sullivan Cove. Then we got to Paul John. Indian single malt whiskey and Brock Laddie, the Octomore edition 06.2. My favorite is the Octomore, and then it goes to the Sullivan Co., and then it goes to the Paul John. But the reason why I put it in this order is that this is sweeter whiskey, and then it gets more smoky, and then it gets very smoky. And you're going to find a lot more of your cinnamon, figs, plums, uh, stuff like that. Very sweet whiskey, a lot of honey. Very nice, smooth, easy-going whiskey. They've won numerous awards, especially the World's Best Whiskey Award in 2014. This is a blend between the two barrels that they came out with, the American Oak Barrel and the French Oak Barrel. So that's the blend. It's also called the Breakfast Whiskey. All right, let's give that one a try before you tell us about Sorry, the others. I, I, I knew that was coming, so might as well just crack right into it. it. Whoa. Hmm? That, that's a lot. Is it? We can pause between tastings. I think these guys are going to get wasted. Problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we're not going anywhere. Our home may have wheels, but it's not moving. <laughs> well, cheers. Cheers. Get your nose right into it and enjoy. Oh, it's definitely smooth. Isn't it? Yeah, mm. very much so. Such a nice definitely got that sweet mm. flavor. Maybe if I get work here, I can afford myself another bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Moving along, whiskey we've just enjoyed two. Sullivan Cove. Now we're getting into whiskey number two. What does that say? Indian single malt. Yeah, that first one went straight to my head. I found this bottle of whiskey at the Whiskey Fair in Sydney. I thought it was pretty interesting. Okay. Getting a bottle of whiskey made in India. According to them, apparently, the weather and the temperature in India is ideal for maturing whiskey. There you go. You be the judge. <laughs> <laughs> this whiskey is um, really good. It's a little bit smokier and that's the reason why I put the bottles in this order. It's smokier, it's more peated, it's going to be a stronger tasting whiskey. Okay. That's why we start with the sweet and we go to the heavy. It's a newer whiskey and I have never had whiskey until now from India. Cheers. Oh, cheers. It's definitely, hi Sarge, a lot smokier. Smokier, a like bit more a lot sting to stronger, it. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can definitely taste the smoke even more as it just let it linger. On yeah, your yeah. It's different. The isn't longer it? it just sits, the more flavor you get out of it. It's mm. amazing how different two whiskeys can be. Because oh, a lot of people just sort of think, oh, one. I've had a whiskey, <laughs> then that's it. They just blank it. But no, you've got to try lots of different ones to get the one that you like. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for a question. So. I've done whiskey tasting in Scotland and they sort of recommend having three drops of water to just sort of bring out the flavours slowly, mm -hmm. um, whereas you can have whiskey as we're having it just to taste mm -hmm. or you can have it on the rocks. Mm -hmm. Do you have a preference on how you take your whiskey? I would have to say it depends on the whiskey entirely. Yeah. The rocks I would avoid unless you really want to denature the flavor of the whiskey but that being said some of the bigger ones like this where it has a very pungent heavy iodine flavor and smoke it's nice to actually open it up with a bit of water so a couple of drops will actually okay. change the whole flavor yep. of the whiskey well what about cool. what about the whiskey stones so i personally find that it's nice to use the stones on a really hot day and you want a whiskey 
um, brings the temperature down without actually changing the flavor of the water. I mean, of the whiskey. <laughs> this last whiskey is by far my favorite. Mm. There is no other whiskey that I have tried yet like it Aww. or near it. I found this whiskey at um, the Sydney Whiskey Festival, a younger company called Brock Laddie out of Scotland. Aged only five years, which is unusual for such high quality whiskey is the most peated whiskey, the most smoky whiskey that you could ever find. According to a review, I'll keep it short and simple. It tastes like Metallica in your mouth. That heavy. Okay. Are you ready for this? It's Metallica is my favorite band of all time. So is it? Well, then, then that's you're in got for high trees. expectations. 18,000 bottles of this did exist. Did it have its own private seat? Probably did. Oh, that's all right then. You hear it breathe? Oh, love that sound. It's good stuff. Oh, bring it on. I'm excited. And there's a little bit of water in here, so it is going to open up a bit. Okay. Wow. It smells like a smokehouse. I'm so excited to try this. I don't know why I'm whispering. It's going to go back in its magic bottle. Bye bye, Genie. Bye, Genie. Okay. Whew. We can talk normal oh. now. It's okay. sleeping. <laughs> Not creepy at all. Don't make me spill my whiskey. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. Isn't it nice? That's awesome. Seriously, mm. I've had some smoky whiskeys, but that is something else. It's like drinking a log fire. It else. is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Literally like walking past that sauna outside. Yeah. Final words before we leave you guys. I think they each have their own qualities that are really unique. If you like something sweet, definitely stick towards the Sullivan's Cove. If you can handle slightly smoky, Metallica. go with the um, Paul John. But yeah, if you can handle the smoky flavors mm -hmm. and you want something that's quite unique, I would definitely go with Metallica in your mouth. <sighs> Spot on.